In this episode, I'm going to cover the Windows install for Flutter part one of three. I'm going to start off by cloning the Flutter repo and then map the path to the binary and then I'll run Flutter Doctor and show what that's about. To get going, I'm going to go to the Flutter guide for Windows. This guide has the system requirements and I'm not going to cover those in this video. I'm going to head down to the get the Flutter SDK section and I want to copy the command git clone Flutter repo. So I'm going to go control C, control C and go to the command prompt. So I'm going to open up Cortana and type in CMD for command. This will open up the command prompt and I'm going to go in change directories into my git directory, CD git. Now that I'm in my git directory, I want to clone the Flutter repo. So I'm going to go paste and it will name the Flutter repo alias Flutter as a new folder in this repo. So I'm going to hit enter and it will clone the resources. Now this repo will need to be updated and the way to do that will be to run the Flutter doctor. After the repository has been cloned, I want to add the Flutter path to the path variable. To get that, I'm going to go back to the Windows guide and copy set x path and then there's a path here but if you look in the string I want to replace cd with the path to my flutter and I'm going to show you how I get that so I'm going to go control c for copy go to the command prompt and then we're going to paste in the command and then I'll move, move on over to where I want to replace the text and I just I know that I just cloned the repo within my user directory and this is git so I'm going to basically copy that by going C colon backslash and then brand or users brand flake 2267 and then the git directory and then we have flutter bin and we hit enter. So all is well, we should be able to run the flutter doctor now, but it won't run the first time we run it in the session because we've got to restart the command prompt and let's look how that would look flutter doctor. And you can see that the flutter path is not in this session. So let's restart the command prompt session by restarting it. We'll go command prompt and we'll run flutter doctor. We don't have to be any project directory to run this. We just have to be on or within the terminal or command prompt to run it. The first time you run it, we'll update dart or download dart, depending on what state you're in and it will show you what the output looks like in a moment. And Dart has downloaded and now it's going to run through the other executions it needs to do to fulfill its dependencies. Okay, alrighty, so the Flutter Doctor has finished. Now the main thing you'll see the next time you run is the Flutter output here. There will be four or five different sections and there'll be checkboxes if those sections are completed successfully. We haven't installed the Android toolchain, Android Studio, and we haven't connected a device or emulator yet. And I'm gonna cover that in the episode two and three. But before I end this episode, let's just run Flutter Doctor one more time to show you how it normally runs. So Flutter Doctor will simply run the output of the four or five sections, the Flutter status, the host executable compatibility, Android toolchain, and Android Studio and connected devices. Keep your eyes peeled for the next episode, and I'll cover two more episodes on the Windows install. Thanks for watching today. Follow me for more tips and tricks, and I'll catch you later.